far side of your screen. And Sudfeld finds Simi Cobbs. He's across the 30, out near the 35, close to a first down. Cobbs is a sophomore out of Oak Park, Illinois, last week in a career-high three touchdowns for Howard. Sudfeld looks over the middle, ball deflected, it's incomplete. It nice run, nice blocking up front. Gain of 18 for Howard, and that ball is nearly picked. That was a great break on the ball, and you have to be careful, Nate Sudfeld, because he sees numbers on the outside. It's a run with a bubble off of it. He's lucky that didn't go to the house. Jeremy, third down. This is where they have to improve a year ago. Not very good on third down. Pass complete, the little screen, and it's enough. Might be close enough for a first down. It's already the 10th play of this opening drive for Indiana. It started at their own 25, and Sudfeld fumbled it. It has to fall back at the 36-yard line. All there, I see a lot of quarterbacks make the mistake of trying to pick it up and run with it. He said, hey, let's just get on the ball here on the miss. In program history in a win. Here's Sudfeld on third down. It's complete. Redding has the catch. He falls inside the 30, but well short of a first down. And a fourth down situation. And the, already the second fourth down conversion attempt for Indiana. Sudfeld with time. Forced out of the pocket. Sudfeld will go down. He loses the football. It's loose at the 50-yard line. It won't matter. It will be FIU football as they hold off the Hoosiers. In this game with the run game. Sudfeld drops back, and he'll have a good tight end group to work with tonight. And that's one of the four that we'll see. Michael Cooper, a fifth-year senior out of the Woodlands, Texas, with four wide receivers. And now Howard in motion. Sudfeld looks, and that ball was tipped away. It was intended for Simi Cobbs. Redding rushed for 57 yards and a couple of touchdowns last Saturday. Now out of the backfield, that was intended for Redding and thrown away by Sudfeld. And now we're right off of those blocks. Great job. Sudfeld. It's complete and a first down, Indiana. Ricky Jones with the catch. And again, he wasn't used to that. Three wide receivers, Sudfeld. Forced out of the pocket, Sudfeld on the run. Three white jerseys there, the pass complete, Cobbs has it. So they make something out of nothing. A gain of about a yard, and third down now for Indiana. On a fourth down play, here he, he just smarter with the football here. Feels the pressure, he tucks it. I like the tuck there. Then he's actually throwing the ball away. Veterans Richard Leonard and Jeremiah McKinnon have made it tough on Sudfeld and the Hoosiers. Pass is complete to Ricky Jones. And he's about a yard shy of a... This is what any quarterback likes, Chuck, right? Second and short. Second and short can do a lot of things. Smart play by Sudfeld, just dumping it off. Didn't have anybody downfield. That's not Gain of seven already. 59 yards on the ground for Howard as Sutfeld looks up top. He's got a wide open receiver. Cobbs has the catch. Simi Cobbs has the catch inside. Of Indiana. They brought up FIU brought a blitz. They picked it up. That put one on one with the corner. Sutfeld. And just wisely falls to the ground. Heavy pressure by F FIU's defensive front. This is where FIU's very good, Chris, in the red zone defense. Again, fourth in the nation last year. Their corners have squeezed those wide receivers. No blitz, just a four-man rush. Good job by Nate Sudfeld just feeling that rush and getting down. Good coverage down the field. Block set up for them. 13 carries, 81 yards for Howard. Now Sudfeld looks, and it's complete. Jones has the catch. Just a simple stop route into the boundary. Again, three defense, cover four in the back end. Nothing fancy. Sutfeld play action. Looks, has a receiver open. It's complete. And that's Mitchell Page. He has enough for the first down out to the 25-yard line, the former walk-on. That's a nice job by Nate Sudfeld of coming off his primary receiver downfield and going down. Good job by Sudfeld. Page, a redshirt junior out of Carmel, Indiana. Now Sudfeld rolls out, and it's incomplete, intended for Redding. 
One thing I noticed where Nate Sudfeld has to improve is throwing on the run. Or FIU gave up just 14 points a week ago, nothing in the second half. Sudfeld, time, it's incomplete. And a penalty flag, that'll be pass interference. And Indiana will have a first down. That's Nico Gonzalez. He was trying to get to the ball, but he hit him too early. That's Sudfeld over the middle. It's nearly picked off. Try to play action fake down there to confuse the linebackers, get him to commit to the run. Actually, it's good action by Sudfeld. That's, that's a dangerous throw there. It could have been an interception. Now you're in a tough spot. Good job. Good defense there. That was Wilkins. Five-yard line. Sudfeld pressured out of the pocket. Sudfeld gets a block and Sudfeld scores. Sudfeld got a key block from Simi Cobbs and a five-yard run for Nate Sudfeld. Yes, and the Hoosiers are within two. And you can play. He's trying to throw the fade route to the left. Everybody's covered. Does a nice job. Simi Cobb is keeping it. So many people think that Indiana playing this fast-paced offense that they're a throwing team. They will throw the ball, but they want to be balanced and wide open over the middle. The catch by one of the four tight ends, and that is Cooper, Michael Cooper. Nice job. Good play fake by Nate Sudfeld to influence the linebackers in that soft zone back there. Got to the middle of the defense. That's the soft part of that defense, right behind those linebackers. Sudfeld ran one in for a score. Now he's forced out of the pocket. It's wide. It was intended for the risk. Yeah, nobody open. Don't make a bad bad play worse. Yeah, my, he might have had uh, Page open in the middle, but hey, he didn't see him. Get to the outside. Don't throw the ball full on those guys. It's all inside zone right now. Third and nine. Sudfeld. It's complete at. The 39-yard line, that's enough for a first down, and that's Ricky Jones. You see the arm strength of Nate Sudfeld there from one hash. He was on the opposite hash and threw that ball across the field to the wide field sideline. That's a, and they're picking up the pace here on offense. Sudfeld out of the pocket, takes a slot. Smart play by Sudfeld. He learned the ground. We need you healthy, young man. Squeeze the ball, get down, and protect your head. Feet first. Ball to show. Sudfeld oh! over the middle. It was intended for Leon Thornton. That was a wide receiver screen. They haven't thrown too many of those tonight. And that was why. That, that was a dangerous throw on a wide receiver screen. FIU so fast. That, that is a lot. You have to be careful. Now third and a lot for Indiana. Sudfeld looking over the middle. Pass is batted away. It's incomplete. It was intended for Andre Booker. A nice job in coverage. Here comes the blitz up the middle. Good pickup by Howard to back and the offensive line. Nice DB play by Jeremiah McKinnon breaking that ball up. This time to Howard. Keeps it himself. They all that's good. There's a huge leadership aspect from him that helps the whole team. And on cue, Nate Sutfeld finds Ricky Jones and Jones to the 20-yard line. That's more than enough for a first down as Indiana moves the chains out last year. Yeah, he went from hey coach, I like all the plays in the game plan to coach, I want these plays in the game plan during the course of the game. That's great to have a quarterback. Nice scramble to the outside there. Staying alive with that play, and that's where he, I thought he needed to work on the most in his game is to beat the country with that. But they're in a third and long now. Sudfeld steps in out of the pocket. He's going 
for a young wide receiver. It's knocked away. That's Jeremiah McKinnon. Nick Westbrook, the freshman out of Lake Mary, Florida, was the intended receiver. And the senior McKinnon got the better of that play. That was really the worst throw that Nate Sudfeld has made. He had, he had him, he had Westbrook open deep. Just lay the ball out there a little bit longer. Sometimes you want to throw that back shoulder fade too much. And he threw it too far inside and short. And that's usually an interception ball. He's very, that's what happened. You got to get that ball to the outside. He had him. 14 minutes to play, fourth quarter. Sudfeld. Pass complete. And Damon Graham. Down the field, a new wrinkle in college football. Quick pass again to Graham, and Graham gets out of bounds at the 30. First down, Indiana. First down. Defensive coordinator told us yesterday is the Hoosiers didn't blink. They didn't fold, and that's what they're going to have to do again tonight. That pass to Simi Cobb. A 32-yard gain as Sudfeld looks for six. And it's knocked away. Good coverage by the safety at the last second. It was intended for Ricky Jones. Nate Sutfeld's thrown the long ball inside a couple of times in this game. He needs to get that ball. Good pump fake. Keep the ball outside. Don't throw it inside. Or hang that ball up. Oaksville has missed a field goal and an extra point. And that pass sails long intended for Cobbs. Nick Sutfeld took a hit for the Just trying to work a fade route off of a stack formation on the outside. Had him open, but good pressure. Here's the hit. The pressure of the FIU defense caused him to throw early and errant to the outside. And the Hoosiers happy to have him back. First down and 10. Pass is complete. Mitchell Page. Mitchell Page, the spin and the touchdown. His first career. Touchdown, Mitchell Page scores for Indiana. 21 yards out, Sudfeld to Page, and the Hoosiers have the lead. And that's the patience of the Indiana coaching staff on offense and Nate Sudfeld to stand with the plan. 29-22 lead. Just a missed tackle. Nice job of Sudfeld throwing the ball on time. And here he is, a tackler coming in. He just dismisses. Dismisses the tackle. Has his head down. Those two guys. You need to talk about Jason Spriggs, left tackle. He's a great pass protector. He protects that blind side of Nate Sudfeld. With the fumble recovery and the forced fumble. Third down, Sudfeld forced out of the pocket. And that's incomplete. And a punting situation now for Indiana. So three and